Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The lawyer of Mazin Amdikano has given the Biafran great hope. You'll be so shocked what he had to tell them right away. And with what he has to say, it clearly shows that uh, there shouldn't be much tension, though he had made mention of one thing that they, or two things that the Biafran must do as at now. But from what he's saying, it clearly shows that um, uh, things may get all right and Mazinamikano may be released earlier than expected. At the same time, uh, one of the controversial Nigerian journalists has stepped up to tell Biafrans and Oduduwa agitators that she has given up on the push for any form of separation or cessation from Nigeria. Guess what she is asking from the President Buhari? You'll be so shocked. We are going to give you details of that in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. The lawyer of Mazi Namdi Kanu, Ifanyi Ejofo, has given Biafrans France the assurance that their leader would be released sooner than expected. Jofa made the assurance while stressing that the Nigerian government lacks strong evidence to use in convicting Kanu. In a statement, Jofa urged Kanu supporters to be patient and prayerful. According to Jofa, and I quote, he said, We are in high spirit that Mazinam the Kanu will soon come out of the tension sooner than expected and better too. It's one thing for allegation to be made, it's another thing to establish it. But I don't think there's anything strong enough to convict him. He also commented on what to expect during the July 26 court hearing. According to him, he said, nothing extraordinary will happen that day. That I can assure you. We will be there as usual to entertain applications. If there's any amendment, we will take it up from there. What we have is still the three-count charge. We also have an application overdue for hearing. That is the invasion of his house where 28 persons were killed. We have all the pictorial evidence. We will tender them before the court so the court will look at them to ensure justice. Kanu had in 2017 left Nigeria for Europe where he operated from. But a few weeks ago, the Nigerian government had rearrested and repatriated him to Nigeria to continue his trial. On arrival, he was brought before Justice Bintang Yako, who reprimanded him in the custody of DSS. Ejofo had also lamented that the IPOP leader may not get a fair trial when the court resumes sitting on the matter. Meanwhile, in another development, popular Nigerian journalist. Kemi Olun Loyo has reiterated her resolve to help in rebranding Nigeria. The U.S. trained pharmacist said that she is tired of protesting and she will not be joining people who want Nigeria to break up anymore. Mm. Kemi Olun Loyo had been recently supporting the federal government and has indicated her interest to work with the administration of President Buhari. She took to her social media page to allege that the agitator of Biafra and Oduduwa republics are abusing her horribly on her social media page. According to her, Nigeria is her country and she will not be protesting against its corporate existence as a nation. The controversial journalist said that her dream is to become minister, adding that she had told President Buhari to make her the minister of tourism. According to her, she said, I said, I am not breaking Nigeria up. It is my country. First, the Biafra movement, then the Yoruba movement, all abusing me horribly on social media. This is why I am not involved in politics and activism in Nigeria anymore. Let me breathe. Don't follow me. I am going to be part of rebranding Nigeria soon. Even to President Buhari to break up the, to break up the lie Muhammad Parastata and make me tourism minister. That's my Nigerian dream. You can continue protesting. I am tired. Mm. This is really, really interesting. Looking at what she, you know, 
have to say. But then let, let's look at um, what um, the lawyer of Mazinam Dikano had. They hope he has brought to the people because there was a lot of fears and some of the things that Malami had said before now, talking about evidence that they are going to be bringing up against him, um, had kind of made a lot of people to be afraid. Yesterday, Reno Omkri talked about some of the videos that he has seen where um, Mazi Namdikano was talking against the minority group and all of that, or instructing the minority group to do something. A lot of that made so many people to think that there may likely be no hope of him coming out any soon. But Ejofo has kind of rekindled the hope of the people, though he insisted that the people must pray and also learn to be patient. And according to him, he said already that they have so many things on ground which they are going to roll out. One of it, which is still the invasion of his home in 2017 that resulted to him absconding from Nigeria. Don't forget that he had brought that up um, when he was brought before uh, in your course presence to talk about the reason why he had to leave Nigeria. He craved their audience and made them to understand the reason why he had to jump bell, why he had to leave the shores of Nigeria, that it was strictly to make sure that he's still alive till today. And uh, this guy is um, the Ejofo, who is the lawyer, is giving um, so much hope to the people. And don't also forget that the Igbo Lawyer Association has also gotten global uh, interest in the case, kind of, they have sought the help of other international lawyers to beef up their evidence is possibly that they may use on that day. So it's going to be maybe not what Nigerian government actually expected if the law will be allowed to run its full course, you know, on the case. But I know also that the Nigerian government may also be preparing seriously to ensure that they rub a lot of things on him. All right, so right now, the only thing that their friends are expected to do, to pray and also to be patient. And then talking about um, the woman who has been uh, somehow a, a pin on the neck of a lot of people in terms of her business of journalism, talking about Kemi Olun lawyer, she said, I don't want to be part of their friends again. I don't want to be working for... Um, Oduduwa again in, 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 in summary she's trying to say that she's not doing anything that will bring down the brand of Nigeria any longer. She's tired of it and that right now she's going to make sure she promotes Nigeria as a country and that she's not going to be part of any agitation any protesting and all the likes and she has also thrown a request at President Muhammadu Buhari to give her a position for her to begin to rule out, you know, her possibly strategies that she will use in rebranding Nigeria. But she's not getting itself from Nigerians, I tell you. You're going to hear some of the reactions of Nigerians against her, and uh, you'll be so shocked that she's not, got, she's not getting uh, any form of support from Nigeria in respect to what she had to say. And this one here says, Kemi, ask yourself if you are responsible. Have a look at your own dress pattern and also look at uh, how you have been begging people for money. You want to say, Kemi Olun lawyer, you want to pin pinch tent with Fulani government and sell off your people. Do you think you have any future with them? Definitely, they will give you money to quiet you. What will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Think twice. And I want here says, woman, you want you want a post that is that is why you are posting nonsense. Hmm. Nothing will stop Biafra and I do the what to come. Whether you stand with Fulani, with Buhari and Nigerian army, it won't stop anything. This one here says someone looks so covered with artificial when all the makeup for of the real person who should rather President Buhari should make me NSA. Thank you. Another person also is sort of sitting for a post there. And this one say, Kemi Lun lawyer has now made us to understand that she is nothing but a stomach infrastructural seeker and she is not doing well in this 21 century. She says she doesn't want activism again 
as such she is not relevant in the course of our pursuit and now one here said the truth now and only one nigeria is one country that can be separated in any format or protesting so many reactions from nigeria the last one i want to take here say kemi you are a gold digger too selfish to behold you can actually fit in a so rock you are the kind of nigerian that we do not want especially at a time like this and uh, I, I, I want to emphasize something here. She, she's trying to pitch her thing today, possibly to get financial support. But however, that's our business. What do you have to say about those two news?